today we're going to be working on Impressionism. Impressionism began in the late 1800s. Artists at this time were taking their artwork outside. They were completing their um, pieces of work in one sitting. And because of that, their pictures ended up appearing to be blurry. Um, often you could see the strokes of color, which were called dots of color. They worked with oil paints, um, mixing very heavy, and they concentrated on how light affects objects. For this assignment, you're going to start with an impressionistic technique handout. The idea is to use oil pastels and apply them in the direction in which the object is going, apply them very heavy, and con concentrate on highlights and shadows. So for example, if we're doing the tree, trees we want it to look like foliage, so it's going to go around and probably small bumps. If we want highlights to hit the top of the tree, then we may end up going with a lighter green on the top or even a yellow. If we want shadows, we can actually add its complementary. So green's complementary is red. So it doesn't look red, we're going to go back over it with green and it'll look more like a dark shadow. So whatever color you want to end up with, that's the color you apply on top. When you're working with oil pastels, you do not want to blend with your fingers. You actually want to blend with the colors themselves. So trees, we're going to make look bumpy like they're trees. Water usually goes horizontally and you make them look like there's little waves. Obviously, if you want it to look like rough water, you would have bigger waves. In order to get the short strokes to appear, you're going to use other colors mixed in. So if we want it to be a cold day, we would add some purples to it. A warm day might have a little bit of greens to it. And then we can get it looking really blurry by mixing white over the top of it. So it's not just coloring like you would color in a coloring book. You actually want to show that there are short strokes of color. this handout, you're going to have them check it, make comments on it, and then you're going to do the final assignment, which will be on a 12 by 18 piece of paper. You're going to find a picture of an outdoor scene. It has to be outdoors. You're going to lightly draw it on the 12 by 18 paper, and then you're going to complete it using this style. So oil pastels showing short strokes of color. 